Yeah, my name is Frank Taylor, and I own um, Frank's Barber and Beauty Salon 1 and 2. And I've been in the promenade, promenade for about 20 years in three different locations. And I've seen it go from black to a great mixture of different nationalities. And I've seen it go uh, through three different owners. So um, I'm, I'm not really excited about the, the, the move, the transformation of um, the promenade because it's, it's, it's more or less the big, incorp the big corporations are coming in buying out everything and just chasing everybody out. But other than that, um, being uh, in this area for t 21 years, um, it's a place where I really want to stay in this area because it's really changing rapid, rapidly and there's a lot of um, diverse um, uh, people in this area and there's a lot of money and I want to be a part of it so I moved down to um, 20th and Jackson and I've been here ever since uh, January and I got a lease for five to seven years what I think about the construction on 23rd and Jackson um, I'm not really too pleased with how everything is going because they're they've came in and they've done a lot of construction there's a lot of companies that were damaged and deprived of clients and money because of them doing the construction at first they said that they're not going to give us any money then we um, signed some petitions and then they said well we'll we we have like six hundred and fifty thousand but you you look at the the area from King and 23rd Street, from 21st to 25th, all the way down to John. There's a lot of businesses. And um, they put a cap on the um, hair industry to $25,000. And that's really no money. And um, they put a lot of stipulations that we have to abide by in order to qualify to receive the funds. So I'm very displeased about it, but it's not over yet. They're going to have to uh, reimburse everybody that has been up here, you know, uh, uh, in the Harris industry and some other small business owners as well. But overall, we are going to walk in victory. Mark my word. We shall get paid our money. My name is Oda Tlahun. Uh, I'm a owner of uh, Oda Barbershop. Uh, I own my business since 2004. And uh, I used to work at uh, 12 in Jefferson for uh, until 2010. And I moved to Twin uh, Sword in Jackson, uh, across to the Starbucks behind the flower shop. Uh, at 2010, uh, I used to do a good business, but uh, since 2015, because of the construction at the 23rd uh, corridor, uh, my business is really, really uh, devastated and uh, I'm displaced from my business. I'm here uh, with my friend, with Frank, at uh, Frank Barbershop at 18th and uh, Jackson. Uh, I'm trying to survive uh, and uh, to keep up my business, uh, but still we are looking at uh, a good answer and a concern from the city mayor. Uh, the mayor office still they are uh, not uh, give us you know a good answer or a good concern for us. Still we are fighting for our right and uh, the, they should uh, compensate us our business. Uh, as a small business owners and as a minority group, we are looking at a, a magnificent uh, help from the mayor office. Uh, so uh, with the city council's members and uh, uh, the city mayor office, they should answer and respond uh, to help us as uh, a small business owners for the minority group. So. We are really, really uh, waiting their uh, 
uh, answer from the uh, mayor office. Yeah, we are organized to uh, uh, fight for for our rights for uh, as a business uh, owners, and we are organized as a, um, a community by Ethiopian Community Center. Uh, our community is uh, they uh, uh, provoke for us uh, to establish, you know, the business owners are as say organized and uh, to survive for our business. So uh, we really, really appreciate the Ethiopian Community Center and what they do for us too. So you are expecting a good deal from the city? Oh yeah, absolutely. We are, uh, uh, we are absolutely uh, you know, waiting a good answer from the mayor office. That we are hoping and uh, that we are waiting for uh, our answer to compensate us. Yes, uh, my name is Adal Shimelis. I have been in uh, this business since 97, that's about uh, 19 years. Uh, we, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we have been here uh, since 97. Yeah, give a haircut. I mean, we establish uh, the neighborhood. We grow uh, from bad to good. Yeah, we lost a lot of customers uh, since uh, this business started. I mean, uh, people don't have any parking. Uh, the working customers, we have uh, like 50% of uh, our customers are workings. We lost all those workings. Uh, we're hoping that will be done soon so we can get our customers back. Yes, we did. I mean, he, uh, he came a couple of times down here. I mean, I told them uh, how bad we are affected, but uh, I mean, it's very important. That's what they said. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of pipes that have to be changed. So it's important we have to do this. So, I mean, they cl they're claiming, I mean, uh, they're going to compensate us. I don't know how, how much we are uh, dealing with that right now. I mean, uh, the city, I mean, uh, they're going to offer us some money. They already offer, I don't know how much. They already offer some money to give uh, for businesses on 23rd. I don't know if it's enough or not. I mean, some of the businesses are closing already. But, uh, I mean, we're going to survive uh, anyway. Uh, we are okay so far. I don't think they're going to offer uh, more money. I mean, they already offer us, the, like... Uh, they're going to pay that, uh, I mean, 25,000 uh, for each businesses. That's the maximum they can, uh, that's the cap they're going to give it to us. So, I mean, 25,000 is a cap, but I don't know how much it's going to give it to us. Yeah, yeah, there is a uh, rumor. Actually, it's not rumor, it's uh, reality. They're closing uh, permanent uh, 23rd. Uh, I don't know most of the businesses they're going to come back or not. Uh, I don't know. There is a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, East African businesses in this area, uh, especially Ethiopian businesses. Uh, most of them are uh, closing one by one. I mean, the way it goes. I mean, the city is uh, growing, no question about it. But I don't know how many people are going to be staying or not, uh, like uh, permanent Jackson. I don't know how many of them is coming back. There is a few of them uh, right at that corner. So we'll see what's going to happen. I mean, uh, one by one, most of the African Americans' business are moving out already. I mean, a few years back, like uh, 15, 20 years, this area is totally different than uh, what we see right now. Uh, we're gonna survive. I mean, it might not be enough. Uh, I don't know how, how far. I mean, the one who lost, I'm sure, is gonna be enough. But the people to get back, I don't know how long it's gonna take them. Might take them a year. Might take them six months. Might take them two, three years uh, to go, to be the way we are. So uh, I don't know if it's enough or not. So the construction is still. It's still going. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They so say are you gonna ask like more money? Yeah, of course, we're gonna uh, already asking him uh, more money. We're having the lawyer right now. We're asking more money, but uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait.
and say. I mean, we're trying, uh, uh, I mean, it's not only us. Uh, us already, uh, the city is going to give us some money. I mean, the people who are on 23rd, but it's not only us uh, I'm concerned about. Uh, the people on uh, Cherry, on Jackson, uh, on Union, there is a lot of businesses It's not on 23rd. It's those people, they are not uh, get any pe any penny. I mean, uh, those is a part of us. I mean, those are, I mean when uh, those are moving out, the community is moving out. So we lose our business. I mean, so we want uh, those people to stay uh, so we can have, I mean, all, everybody has survived. That's what I want for myself and for others. So that means staying in community together? I mean, if uh, I'm the only one staying, I don't think I'm going to have any business anyway. If everybody's staying or the community are staying, I'm going to get uh, more business. I mean, uh, just uh, everybody are not going to come just for one business. If uh, there's another restaurant, another business in the area, they're going to come here, get a haircut, and go to the next one, eat dinner, or have coffee. So the, if the community stay together, so everybody's going to survive. I mean, I have a few experiences uh, before uh, with other businesses. I mean, one restaurant opened different, like Bellevue or some other. I don't think they're going to stay, uh, exist for a year. Or, but if there's a few restaurants are together, most of them are going to survive. Because, uh, I mean, everybody comes to that area and, and look, uh, I mean, uh, different, they go to different kind of businesses. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, the more the community stays, the, the, it's good for me. So I can stay more. But if I'm only one left, uh, I don't think I'm going to have a business. I have to move out and go to uh, follow the others. Yeah, right. yeah. Early 90s, I, I, mostly especially in this area, mm -hmm. back early 90s and late 80s, uh, I used to be a... Uh, I'm sure it's like 100 percent or 95 yeah. percent is black. I mean, there used to be a lot of uh, killing, shooting. I, I saw a few of them in my eyes. But uh, now it's the totally changed. I mean, uh, I don't think it's even uh, 20 percent of the, the black community are left or down here. I mean, if I, actually, if I don't own the building, I might not uh, be surviving. The rent is going up, uh, way up. Uh, the only reason we're staying right now is because we bought the building a few years back. That's the only uh, reason we're staying right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, like, uh, if uh, I have, is going to have the same problem as the one who have permanent uh, the business over there. Uh, that's why somebody sold. Yeah. we getting together, uh, I mean, uh, hiring a lawyer to fight uh, the situation right now. We just have... Um, uh, Meeting, meeting yesterday, so fighting each other, that's what we're talking about right now. Thank you everybody to support us here. Maybe my English, a broken English, this is my lang second language. I'm sorry for that. But we are suffering in our business, especially in Ethiopia community, that area. I was established in 1995. Because of the economy situation, because of the construction, construction is not 23rd only, the whole city. People come across all over the city, but nobody support us. Even to go to grocery store, we stay maybe two, three hours to buy cash and carry stuff. We don't have sometimes, there's no parking to load our stuff. Nobody see us. Nobody come to our door. I feel sad always. Who's going to come our door? Nobody come our door. There is so many things. I don't want to waste people's time here. If I see them privately, I will tell you all my secret. I don't want to say anything from mass media. Thank you, you guys, for everything. Thank us especially my customer. Still, I'm surviving. Thank you for you guys, everybody here. Thank you so much, your owner. OK, my name is Thomas. Um, I've been, in Se yeah, I've been in Seattle for 25 years. Um, I love the fact that Seattle's growing. Um, and I love all the improve improvements that Seattle's doing to bring our cities to competitive cities amongst um, other cities in the U.S. The only concern I have is while growing, we're forgetting about the small businesses. The small businesses is the one that got us here. 
um, the one that highlights what Seattle's all about. At this point, we're forgetting what the small businesses are doing for the people that's living here. I've been coming here for a long time at, at this uh, barbershop. Now, if everybody leaves from this area, this barbershop cannot survive. And the city knows it. We all know it. Every, the writing's on the wall. We all know it. Um, I would love to see the city of Seattle, my city. I've been paying taxes here for a long time. Um, been a very good citizen to support my city. I'd love to see the city support the businesses that we come to. Um, instead of supporting only one area, like 15 million for waterfront businesses and 600,000 for uh, businesses that's on 23rd, the math just don't add up. Uh, it's not just a matter of losing business. These people are losing customers as well. So you're paying 25000 each right now, but are they going to survive? They're losing all the customers. So what are, I would love to know what the city is going to do to support the businesses that we patronized. Um, I hope to see that the politicians kind of wake up and see what the small businesses are doing. Um, make sure they survive, and if they don't, we'll reflect with our votes. The community need to stick together and, and voice. Everybody need to step up and let the city know about how much of a loss this is. I understand we don't have uh, t uh, tourists coming out here to support our businesses, but we support our businesses. So by you taking away their business away from us, with the road or with whatever you're, that you're doing, uh, you're affecting every one of us. So. I think it's to the best interest of the city, to our people, to support one another so we can survive and the city keeps growing. Thank you.